Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on using my files in Lightburn and what you need to do first before you do anything else. Let's get started. Okay, so this is an SVG that I opened in Lightburn using the import function and I include this little one inch square with a lot of my files. If you click on it and you notice it says 0.75 by 0.75, but the instructions tell you it should be one inch, you know that the file has now reduced in size by about 25%. The reason being is because Lightburn has two settings. If you go into Lightburn and go into Preferences, you go into File Settings, SVG Import Settings, you have a 96 DPI, which is Inkscape, which is their default, and then 72 DPI for Illustrator. I design everything in Illustrator. Illustrator is the leader for vector designs as far as programs are concerned. And so everything I do is in Illustrator. So if I were to change this to 72 DPI Illustrator and hit OK, no, it's not going to resize my file. What I'm gonna to have to do is close my file. I'm going to say File, Import, and I'm gonna open the exact same file again, and now you'll see it's bigger. I click on my one inch square, and I am now one inch by one inch. For whatever reason, recently, PDFs have not been opening properly in Lightburn, and I'm not sure what has happened that has changed it, but it is making colors funky, it is grouping things weird, so if you can, I suggest using the SVG whenever possible. I have noticed that I am able to group and um, keep things together as an SVG when I, when I import into Lightburn, but if I make it a PDF and I try to group, it will make my colors go all wonky. Okay, so if you can, do not use the PDF any longer. Try to use the SVGs. Uh, just make sure you're going to Lightburn, Preferences, File Settings, and then just clicking Illustrator for all of my files. Okay, guys, so hopefully that helps uh, anyone that's struggling with Lightburn or having some weird issues. Make sure to use the SVG because it does stay all grouped and is much easier to work with. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching.